Time News making hot headlines this morning. The Duchess of Cambridge and her new sister-in-law celebrated a day alone together. Kate Middleton and Meghan Markle attended the Wimbledon ladies single final together today. The two laughed and chatted as they watched the match. This is the first time Middleton and Markle attended an event together since the royal wedding. They cheered on friend Serena Williams as she complete, competed against Angelique Kerber. Kerber won 6 to 3. I cannot believe that Serena lost. Nike's famous designer Tinker Hatfield is speaking out on his most hated Jordan sneaker. Hatfield says he wishes he never made the Jordan 15. Why? Well, because the tongue was modeled after Michael Jordan's actual tongue. His favorite, though, the Jordan 11s. A lot of people love those. But he also says that the shoe was close to being scrapped before Michael Jordan stepped in and saved it. Miley Cyrus came in like a wrecking ball on her social media posts. The actor and singer deleted all her Instagram photos Friday. Her official website and Twitter also took a hit with her bio and profile photos appearing blacked out. Hours later, she began trending on social media. Fans quickly posted their creative theories with the hashtag Miley is coming, anticipating a big announcement in the future. Oh my gosh, could she be pregnant? New music? What could it be? Ooh, you never know. You never know. Veteran TV journalist Billy Bush and his wife Sydney Davis are calling it quits. Davis filed for divorce yesterday, ending their 20 year marriage. It comes 10 months after the couple separated. She cited irreconcilable differences for why the two are splitting up. Davis has requested joint legal and primary custody of their two kids. She's also seeking spousal support from Bush. And supermodel Kate Upton just announced she's expecting her first child. She posted this pic today from Miami announcing she is pregnant. It's unclear how far along she is. Upton married Houston Astros pitcher Justin Verlander in November after dating for five years. They got married just after the Astros won the World Series. And that is your hot headlines. Very good, very good. Very well informed. Well, fast moving relationships is also making Hollywood headlines after news broke that.